Hi everyone, this is Sharik and welcome back to Globetrot with Arabic. Yesterday we recorded a le lesson from Croatia, Rovin. Today we will record a lesson in a very similar location, but the difference is that I'm in a restaurant and I'm going to show you um, the people here, uh, the food, maybe we will learn some sentences in relation to food, and also we will review some words we did yesterday in relation to the sea. So I'm going to turn my camera. I hope you will enjoy it. So this is a lesson for my Lebanese Arabic students. Students, okay. I've just recorded the same lesson for my standard Arabic students, and now it's your turn, my lovely Lebanese Arabic students. See you. Okay. So to begin with, I am in a restaurant, so I'm gonna say Anna B Mat Am. So Anna is I. B means in. Mat Am Mat Am means restaurant. So Anna B Mat um, so, this restaurant overlooks the sea. So, Anna bi matam bi tul ala al bahar. So, bi tul bi tul means overlooks. Bi tul ala ala means on. Al bahar, we already know this word, no? From yesterday we said bahar means sea. So, Anna. بمطعم بطل على البحر I'm in a restaurant that overlooks the sea في بواخر بالبحر We know the word بواخر from yesterday في بواخر بالبحر بواخر means boats بالبحر again means in the sea now, I'm going to show you my food. I am eating breakfast, so I say, Ana am bakul. Ana am bakul. Al fatur. Al fatur means breakfast. But it's much more common to say, Ana am betrawa in Lebanese Arabic. Literally, it's like in English you're saying, I'm, bref I'm breakfasting. So, Tirwi'a in Arabic, in Lebanese Arabic. Tirwi'a, that's how we pronounce it. Tirwi'a, that's breakfast. But to say I'm having breakfast, we say Ana am, and the am word is like the English I am eating, drinking, that that one. So Ana am bitrawa. Again, Ana am bitra. So this is the present continuous. I am breakfasting or I am eating breakfast. So let's see what's the, what's in my plate. So plate, by the way, in Arabic, in Lebanese Arabic, is sahan. Haida sahan. This is a plate. Haida this sahan plate. It's like in English you're saying this plate, which means this is a plate. Haida sahan. Actually, let's talk about uh, forks and knives as well. So, haide shauke. Haide shauke. Haide sikine. So, you notice I said haida sahan because sahan is a masculine word. I used haida. But these are feminine words. So, that's why I used haide. So, Haida is masculine, Haide is feminine. Haide shauke. Haide sikine. Sikine. So, Haide shauke. Haide sikine. U Haida sahan. There is bread in the plate. Fi khibiz. Khibiz. Fi khibiz bis sahan. U Haida. Sandwich, sandwich, like a sandwich, we use the French word. Sandwich, jibne, jibne is cheese. Haida, sandwich, jibne, ma banadura, with tomato. Haida, sandwich, jibne, ma banadura. And let's also say there is a there is salad in my plate. Fi salata, or we use the French word salad. Fi salad. أو سلطة بصحنة. So if I want to say in the plate, I say 
بالصحن but in fact we write it بالصحن but we don't really pronounce the l sound which means b b plus l which means in the and then sahan in the plate we pronounce it بالصحن that's in the plate but if i want to say in my plate i say b sahne so this this a ne sound in the end is my so in arabic the possessive endings are suffixes they are not like a separate words no they are attached to a word and we just pronounce them at the end so bisahne in my place bisahne fi salata bisahne there is salad in my place haida asir this is juice haida asir Bird-an. Bird-an. There is the uh sound in the middle of the word. Bird-an. Haida, asir, bird-an. But very commonly we also say in Lebanon, jus d'orange. Haida, jus d'orange. Jus, juice, d'orange, of orange. We have very strong French influence. So that's why a lot of times when we use French words, it's like it really feels like we're using Arabic. So. Haida Asir Bird'an Haida Ahwe You see Ahwe is feminine and Asir is masculine That's why we said Haida Asir And we said Haida Ahwe Fi Sikkar Bil Ahwe There is sugar in the coffee Fi There is Sikkar Sugar In Bi Il Ahwe The coffee في سكر بالقهوة and actually it's brown sugar so in Arabic we say uh, سكر أسمر 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 literally means brunette so when we say سكر أسمر it doesn't literally mean brown sugar so there are people who say سكر بالنة actually but I think that's more standard Arabic I also just asked my Jordanian friend what they say in Jordan he said they say سكر بالنة but us in Lebanon we say سكر Asmar. So Asmar is a masculine word. So if you want to use the feminine word, you say Samra. For example, if a woman has uh, brown hair or black hair, we say, like the, that woman sitting there on the chair, we say Samra. Okay? Samra. But the man is Asmar. Samra, that's feminine. And Asmar is masculine. I'm going to show you one last thing in this place. The flowers. So we say zhur in Lebanese Arabic. Zhur. Zhur. And if it's one flower, you're gonna say zahra. So zhur and zahra. If you want to say a red flower, I'm gonna say zahra, zahra, hamra. Because zahra is a feminine word, so I use hamra. Zahra. Hamra, but zhur in the plural is hamr. Zhur, hamr. That's it for today. I hope you really enjoyed my lesson, and if you did, and if you found value in my lesson, don't forget to subscribe for more Arabic language lessons. I'm gonna try to record a new lesson tomorrow from a different location. So try to uh, memorize all the words you studied today and all the sentences we studied today. So hopefully tomorrow you're gonna be ready for a new and fresh lesson. Thank you very much. Shukran ktir or merci ktir in Lebanese Arabic. And see you tomorrow. Shufkun bukra. Shufkun. I see you. Bukra. Shufkun bukra. Bye.